Hey everybody, it's Christine, and today I want to talk to you about your mind. Now you all know that your mind can be the cause of a lot of suffering, or a lot of happiness, joy, and well-being, and freedom, depending upon what you're thinking. And you probably know intellectually that you have some choice over your thoughts, but I really get that sometimes it doesn't feel that way. And one of the things that's helped me the most in my own path and in my work with my clients is really understanding how our brain works. And one thing that I learned is that our thoughts and continuous thoughts, habitual, habitual thoughts, create neural nets in our brain. So that when we have a lot of the similar thought over and over and over, it actually creates this wiring in our brain so we're almost wired to think that thought. So if you have a lot of thoughts of, I'm not good enough, or what if I don't have enough money, or oh my gosh, I'm never going to be loved, or I hate my body, if you have those thoughts day after day after day after day, it forms this neural net in your brain. So it almost becomes habitual. So how do we change this? It's possible. So let me explain it by giving you an analogy and painting a picture. So say you have a house that's in a field. And this field is covered with weeds and tall grass and there's some rocks and there's never been a road in this field. And you have to drive a truck from the road away from the house through the field to get to the house. Now the first time you drive this truck to the house, there's no, there's no path. So you've got to carve one and it's bumpy and you're not sure where you're going. You've got to hold onto the steering wheel really tight. It doesn't feel like a natural road. But if you drove that same truck down that same path day after day after day after day, eventually grooves in the field would form and naturally the truck would just go along that path. You wouldn't have to do much steering. Okay. Now, if you wanted to drive the truck a different route and go a different way to the house, you'd have to consciously steer the wheels off of that path that you've made day after day after day and it gets a little bumpy again. It wouldn't be as natural. But if you steered that new way day after day, moment after moment, eventually a new pathway would form. So you can think of your brain like that. You know, the thoughts you're thinking moment after moment, day after day, form these paths in your brain. So sometimes it just naturally goes there. So if you have that first thought of, I'm not good enough, then you know, it goes down that path of, I'm not good enough, I'm not likable, no one will ever like me, so on and so on and so on. Right? But if you can catch yourself in that first thought and go, whoa, 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 I don't want to go down that road and consciously steer it in a different direction, even if it totally doesn't feel naturally, natural at first, if you do that, Day after day, guess what happens? Eventually you start to form new pathways and new neural nets. Okay? So we've got to take our mind to the gym. We've got to take our brain to the gym. You know, we obsess about going to the gym and changing our body and changing our physical appearance, but we don't focus as much or invest as much energy in changing our mind. So that's what I want to work, I want I invite you to work on this week is changing your thoughts, steering your thoughts a different direction so that you can go down a path that's a lot more enjoyable. Have a great week, everybody. I'll see you next week.